Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Or a small black man. <laughs> Alright, come on, go. Oh, sorry. Uh, buenas noches a todos ustedes. Okay, by the looks of your expressions, I can tell that you guys don't understand what I just said. Uh, what I said, if I translate it, would be, um, good afternoon, everybody here in this living room. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys about how important it is to be bilingual and how important it is to start the bilingual education in your child at a young age. As you can see, my daughter agrees with me. <laughs> okay, as a bilingual person myself, I will be using my experiences in life, work, and society in general and in school to let you know how being bilingual has helped me overall. Um, only 9% of the United States population is bilingual. They know another language, not just Spanish. They either know French, German, Italian, or um, Greek. Uh, compare that to 58% of the population in Europe. Once you get into like the job market, uh, that pushes our country to be less competitive than any other country out there. Uh, in school, uh, being bilingual, speaking English and Spanish has helped me because uh, it's easier for me to grasp new ideas and it's easier for me to understand other languages. Uh, I also speak French, but because of lack of practice, I lost that language. Um, in work, I... In work, I get paid an average of a dollar fifty more than an average uh, monolingual person, a representative at the call center. Um, it adds up to about five thousand dollars a year, depending on how many extra hours you have to pick up. Um, now, after personally being bilingual all my life and knowing the benefits that it offers. Um, I strongly encourage it. According to Dr. Russ Raman from Queens College in New York City, he conducted a study with about 135 people. Um, he did conclude that Rosetta Stone is a good method to use to learn another language. After 55 hours of using or trying to learn with Rosetta Stone, about 95% of the students um, quizzed and got a better percentage in oral and uh, writing skills. Um, this also leads me to believe that all of you guys should petition to your Congress members to repeal the No Child Left Behind Act that was inputted by the George Bush administration in 2001 because it takes away from funding to help children in school learn another language. It emphasizes an English-only language and that puts us more behind in terms of our education. Um, scientific studies have also concluded Mommy, that children that know another language have uh, more space in their brain and access the right side of their brain more. And therefore, they they're smarter than the kids that don't speak another language. It also puts them puts their children at an advantage when working or looking for a job in the global economic market. Thank you.